Hey, what's up guys? Around three years ago, I made a video of how you can install PFSense into your PC. And PFSense is a very great firewall software that you can install in a PC. Right now, I'm just going to do a remake of that. And I'm using this PC because I have a client for PFSense. And I want to share it with you, especially for those beginners out there who want to try out uh, PFSense. You can basically install this one into your PC. All right, let's go ahead and start. Standard PCs have only one NIC card. And if we are going to install PFSense inside this PC, we need to have two NIC cards. Okay, the basic analogy of these guys is we are going to use the first NIC card as a WAN port, or some may call it as internet port. And the second one would be LAN port or our local area network port. The second one we need is a USB stick that has PFSense with it so that we can install PFSense into this PC, okay? So before we install uh, PFSense, I'll just go ahead and add in this one and flash PFSense into this USB stick so that we can install it into this PC, okay? So we get to put this one inside like that. Okay, that is our NIC card. The second one we just installed. And then this is the first NIC card we have that is built in with the motherboard. Okay, so next up is we're going to make our USB stick with a PFSense in it, okay? So first we need to download the operating system of PFSense. I'll put the link on the description below. Here you get to select the architecture and then let's go for USB mem stick installer, then get to VGA. Click download. Then this will take time to download so you can um, wait for this one. I'll just go ahead and post this video, come back later if it's already done so that we can proceed to the next step. Okay, it's four, three, two, one, and PFSense is downloaded. The next software we're going to use is Rufus. We're going to use this one to write PFSense to our USB stick. So let's go ahead and check on our download. We need to extract this image so that we can write it to our USB stick. Right click and extract here. It will take a few seconds. Then we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and check on that extracted image. So there you go, PFSense, memstick. Okay, let's fire up Rufus. Link will be in the description below. You can download this one. All right, so make sure your USB stick is plugged in. We get to select that extracted image. This is the fresh download we had. We need to locate the extracted PFSense image, which is this one. We get to load this one up, open. Then we get to press start. This will take a few minutes, okay? And I'll just cut this uh, footage here, uh, get back to you when it's done. So we're not going to spend time waiting for it. So you can post this video as well. So we're good to go. We're back, ready to start. Plug it to our computer. Okay, so I have already set up uh, my monitor here. I have also a keyboard because we need to use this one so that we can boot up from this USB stick. I turned this piece around because the back portion of this PC is more important while making the video. After we installed PFSense, we don't need the monitor and the keyboard. We can access PFSense via a web browser. So I'll just go ahead and power this one. As I boot that one on, make sure you know the boot menu key for you guys. For me, it's F9. So keep pressing on F9 and then you get to select where you're going to boot up. Okay, for me, it would be my SanDisk and I'm going to press enter. This will start to boot up with uh, your USB stick. And there you go, we have PFSense loading up. Uh, PFSense, we get to accept this one, press enter. And then of course we wanna install PFSense. So let's just go ahead and press enter. Then this is going to ask what kind of um, um, key maps do we need? So we're just going to continue with the default key map, enter. So it's going to ask us, let's just go for guided disk setup let's just go ahead and press enter then we're going to use the entire disk because we don't need any partition with this device press enter this will erase the disk are you sure you want to proceed of course yes so press enter then we basically go with a uh, GUID partition table press enter 
at this step guys select the right disk because my first disk here is 29 gigabyte which is my USB stick now the second disk is my SSD that is installed inside my PC where we are going to install PFSense okay so I'll select the second disk that is nearly 112 gigabytes okay yes we are going to commit then there you go so basically installing PFSense like yeah, next 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 at this point in time we are going to wait until it's going to be done All right, that's very fast. The installation is now finished. Before exiting the installer, would you like to open shell? No, we don't need. Just go ahead and go for no. So we're going to reboot the system now. We can unplug the USB stick we used earlier. Okay, so here's the USB. Just going to put it there. Then let's wait up. So it's loading. Yeah. Let's just wait for a bit. So that PFSense will kind of load itself up. There you go, PFSense. So should VLANs be set up now? Okay, so I'll just focus the camera into the lower part of the screen so that you can see, okay? We are not going to set up VLANs, so we go press N for no. Press Enter. The next step we have enter the one interface name or A for auto detection. Now we have two options here. The first Ethernet port is RE0, the second one is RE1. So let's just go ahead and type in RE1. Press enter. Then we have the second step that will be enter the LAN interface name or A. So since we have already selected RE1, we get to go for RE0. So we have already identified LAN interface and WAN interface. Here's a quick summary of what we have done. WAN, RE1, LAN, RE0. Okay, so do you want to proceed? We press Y for yes. Enter. Then this will configure itself, so we need to wait up for it around maybe one to two minutes. I'll quickly fast forward this one so that we are not going to wait for a long time for that two minutes, okay? So you can go ahead and post this video if you are watching and doing it at the same time following this tutorial. All right, let's focus on the summary we have here. There you go, we have your LAN as your 192.168.1.1. I have not connected the internet port yet. So uh, we're good to go with this one. We can remove our monitor, then uh, place our PFSense box somewhere. Uh, we can turn it on and we, we get to access the web interface of this. So that's our PFSense. All right. So I'll pull up my laptop, connect through our LAN network and then access it via the web browser. Since there are two ports and we don't know which is the LAN in the WAN, we need to guess which one we're going to plug. So if the other one is not working, we're not getting a DHCP IP from this port, then we get to plug it to the second port, okay? So that's good because we only have two. I'll go to my laptop and check if we can get an IP. So here on my laptop, let's go to network section then make sure we are on the ethernet adapter go for change adapter settings then we have your ethernet there okay we're getting an ip from our pfsense box so we can go ahead and access this on our web browser so i'll close that close everything here close that okay pop in our browser open it here then I want to separate tab here so I'll just go ahead and type 192.168.1.1 okay press enter then you will be here don't worry about this page just go ahead and click on advance 
So proceed. Then you will have the login page for PFSense. The default username is admin. Then the password here is PFSense. Okay. We're in. So we're going to go through um, wizard here. Let's just go ahead and do the basic uh, settings. Go for next. Hit next again. Then if you want to have a different host name than PFSense, feel free to do it for you. Okay, so I'll just put it as Torogi Pro for me. Then domain, it's up to you if you have a local domain. We're going to use the DNS provided by the ISP. So we don't need to put in anything here. But if you have a preferred DNS, use that one. Time zone, it's up to you. Okay, so I'll just go for next. Then, what would be the type of our WAN connection? That would be DHCP for me. You can choose other options there, PPOA and all those things. But for me, I'll just go for DHCP. Next, this is where you are going to change your LAN IP address if you want to. I'll just leave this one as the default IP address. And you get to set a new password for the admin because yeah, everybody knows that PFSense default password is PFSense. So you need to change the password so that it will be different. Once you're done, go ahead and hit next and then reload configurations. Okay, so done. Let's go and check my dashboard. I'll just go ahead and accept this. Then here you go. We are connected to our LAN. We have our one. There's nothing connected there since this is only the setup. You can plug in your internet there so that you'll have internet through your PFSense firewall. Then here's a um, quick um, information about your PFSense box. So if you're looking for other tutorials about uh, PFSense, I have several of them on my YouTube channel. Go uh, check them out. And I hope I'm going to come up with more tutorials about PFSense. Um, help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. And I hope you have learned something from this video. Goodbye.